a.m. This is the usual time that I like to go to the gym. It's not too busy right now. So today's video is mainly gonna be, oh you can't see me, it's too dark in here. Today's video is mainly gonna be all about how to get up early in the morning and just the main things, nine main things actually, that I've implemented into my life that have assisted me in getting up early in the morning uh, and just things I've implemented into my morning routine and nightly routine too because the next day starts the morning before. So yeah, today's video is all about how to get up early in the morning and the things that I implement into my life in order to do so because I have always been told, I mean that's what I've learned in the past is that if you conquer the morning, you conquer the day. And I think that's just so true. And ever since I've been told that, like I've just been hell bent on getting up early in the morning. It's just something that's super popular with me. I know it's super popular on YouTube. Lots of people search it up, uh, like morning routine, how to get up early, all these different things. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. I'm gonna go hit the gym real quick, and then after I'm done in there, we're gonna get right into the video. So I will see you after that. <laughs> Okay, how you guys doing? I just got back from the gym, all cleaned up now. Um, I apologize for how tired I was earlier, and uh, I might have sounded confusing, and the words that I was saying might have not made sense. So let me just reiterate what I was talking about. Basically, I just this video is me about nine. Like I've put together nine main points about things that have helped me wake up early in the morning, whether to do with before I go to bed at night or things I do in the morning, just pr preparation and things that I do that just assist me in waking up early. For me, like, I know early for some people is probably like 4 a.m., could be 8 a.m., whatever it may be, like whatever time suits you best to do that. For me, 6 a.m. is a great time for me to get up in the morning and just have my whole day planned ahead of me so I can get more done and just feel more mentally prepared for the day ahead of me because if I don't do something early in the morning, oftentimes, like just for me personally, some people may not be like this, but for me, if I don't do something in the morning and get it done, especially if it's the most difficult thing I have to do in the day, then I just, I'm too lazy to do it at night. I'm too tired. There's too much stuff going on at that time. There's too many people texting. So for me, I just like to get things done in the morning and get them out of the way. But anyways, I don't want to ramble and I want to get into the video with these nine main things that help me get up early in the morning and get my routine going for the day. So um, let's get right into number one. I don't want to waste your time anymore. Let's go. Number one is deleting all of my distracting apps before I go to bed the night before. So this is huge because if you delete all these apps, before, like, I don't know, for example, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Visco, whatever it may be, just getting these things off of my phone before I go to bed makes it so that as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm not like checking them right away and laying in bed for another hour. This is something that is some people may be able to control. For me, it's just like something I cannot control. Like if my phone's right there when I wake up in the morning and all these apps are on there, I have a bunch of like notifications for each thing like I'm gonna check them and it's gonna waste about an hour in the morning just sitting in bed so if you delete these off your phone and just have them not there when you wake up it's so much easier just to get out of bed and do whatever you gotta do like maybe you take a shower right away maybe you go to the gym right away whatever it may be it helps so much okay so number two is something that you saw earlier when I went to the gym and it is going to the gym first thing in the morning Jesus Mike is just flying up today so like you saw earlier in the video um, I like to go to the gym first thing in the morning um, it's just a priority that I've always had. I like to get up early and go to the gym right away because it means I'm not gonna get back into bed. I'm at the gym. It wakes me up, it clears my head, and it just kind of gets me off to a good start because it's one of the most difficult things mentally for me to do. I'm not someone who like loves the gym, so like to go there and get it out of the way, it just feels like I accomplished something right away out of the gate at the start of the day. A weird thing that I try to do, it is kind of weird, but... <laughs> so like at my gym, it's a smaller gym, like there's... It's like not very big at all. Um, most of the times when you go in the morning, you see the same people every single day that are always there in the morning. But for the most part, this weird thing that I do is just, I challenge myself to beat the other people that get there at six. And I don't like talk to them. They don't, they don't know that I do this, <laughs> but it's kind of weird. But at the same time, it helps me want to wake up and get to the gym and kind of beat them. It's like a challenge for myself. 
Um, I'm really competitive, so it's something that I just do. But it's just, just a weird trick to getting up early. Maybe that might help you. Number three is making your bed right away. And this is a super small thing, but it's it's huge because if you don't make your bed right away, then it's gonna be there. It's kind of inviting for you to get right back in if you get up out of it. Making my bed right away and like tucking the sheets underneath. Like you can see this. You can kind of see this. Maybe. But just tucking the sheets like underneath the bed and like making sure that you do not get back in there and go back to sleep is huge. I think it's just a great way to make sure that you don't go back to sleep and get your day started. Number four is something that I've been doing for a while. And since I go to the gym in the morning, it's easy to do for me. And that's laying everything out that you need to wear or have done in the morning, like on my floor. And I know this is kind of weird, but like instead of it being cramped all in my gym bag, I'll take out like my shorts and my t-shirt and my shoes, whatever it may be that I need for the next day when I'm going to the gym. And I'll lay it out on the floor right beside my bed so it's right there and I can just get right into those clothes like right away. Like there's no hesitating, there's no messing around the gym bag trying to find all my clothes and giving me a reason to like just give up and go back to sleep. It's right on the ground, put it right on and I'm ready to go. Like this is something that's seriously helped me. I know it's super small, but like these little things are the things that add up and help you get out of bed in the morning. Number five is another small one, but it works very well. For me, my bed's back there and my desk is right here, which is way across the room, way across the room. It's pretty far, but I have a charger on my desk and I'll set my alarm before I go to bed and just put it on my desk way over here. So the alarm is set way across my room and in order for me to turn that alarm off, I have to get out of bed and then walk over here, turn the alarm off and I'm already up at that point. So it's like, I might as well get dressed, which my clothes are on the ground, put them on, go to the gym super easy just to wake up and uh, not feel like you want to go back into bed. Very simple, but very effective. So before we get into number six, I'm going to go get a coffee and then I will tell you the rest of the tips. Well, but you didn't expect that, but we are now in the kitchen. Coffee's being made right below us. I don't know if you can hear it. Definitely can hear it. It's pretty loud. So I'll wait till that's done and then we'll get into tip number six. Okay, so number six is washing my face as soon as I wake up. Now, this instantly wakes you up. Like as soon as I get out of bed, make my bed, and then uh, put on my clothes, whatever I need to do, go to the washroom and just wash my face because it's gonna instantly wake you up, especially if you use like cold water, like you wanna be extreme, use some cold water, it'll wake you up right away. Not only is it gonna wake you up, but it's, it's good for your skin. Like you're gonna wake up off of your pillow that you slept on all night, has a bunch of oils on it. Wash your face off, clean it off, and then go to the gym or do whatever you gotta do. That's number six, I think that's super important for me. Definitely make a difference for you. So number seven is gonna be creating a to-do list the night before you go to bed. Now, don't make this to-do list the day of that you gotta do the things. Making the to-do list the night before you go to bed is gonna drastically increase your uh, likelihood to get up in the morning, especially if you put on the to-do list, like wake up at 6 a.m. and then 7 a.m. do something else. Like by the hour you make a to-do list, um, that's just gonna make things super helpful for you to get up early and it's gonna structure your day out so you have a, like a reason, like a purpose to wake up and not, you're not just waking up for the fun of it. Just knowing you have stuff to do later on in the day is gonna help you wake up in the morning. So that's super simple. Um, I have a video, I'll link right here, um, all about like making to-do lists and minimalist phone setup for productivity. I'll link that here, kind of relates to that one. So check that out if you're interested in that, but let's get into number eight. All right, so number eight is like possibly the most important thing on this list and that is having a set sleep schedule because if you don't have a consistent sleep schedule it's gonna just ruin the way that you wake up in the morning so for me like if I want to get up around 6 like 5 36 a.m. I should definitely go to bed before 11 p.m. the night before that's gonna get me a solid I don't know like what six seven hours of sleep and then I'm ready, I'm awake, I'm ready to go for the next day. If I go to bed at like 12 or like 12.30, I find it's super hard for me to wake up in the morning. So like for me, I like just cut out what you do at night. Like if you're watching Netflix or you're watching YouTube videos for like hours upon hours before you go to bed and it ends up being like 2 a.m. These are just time wasting things. Like most of the stuff you do at night is not very productive. Well, for me, it's not very productive at all. Um, my more productive hours are in the morning. So if I'm wasting time at night, usually like it's not productive. So like just stop it, go to sleep instead of wasting all this time. And you'll be able to get up in the morning, feel great the next day, and uh, just have a super productive day rather than staying up all night and feeling super groggy the rest of the day the next day. Okay, so number nine is another super important one. It's like kind of mindset oriented. I, I like to do this for every like, one of the lists that I make. Um, and it's honestly just have the correct mindset. If you don't have like 
a reason to wake up in the morning or like a goal for your next day to get accomplished or just something like that, being out of the wrong mindset is just gonna not, you're not gonna wake up early in the morning because there's no reason for you to do so. If you have a reason to get up in the morning, then that's gonna help you greatly wake up before 6 a.m. and get your stuff done and just be more productive. Something I always say to myself, I think I learned this from like, an Arnold Schwarzenegger video. Just don't think, do. When you wake up in the morning, don't think about it when you're lying in bed, like, oh, I wanna go back to sleep. It's gonna be so much nicer if I just go back to sleep. Don't think about that, just do. Just get up, go to the gym, do whatever you need to do. Um, and just don't think, do, get stuff done. For me, like, I always wanna ask myself, like, will my future self be happy that I did this? And for me, my future self will be pissed off that I slept in all, all morning. If I get up early in the morning, um, like right now, I'm feeling great. I got up early at like 5.30 today, went to the gym, and we're filming this video. We're almost done filming this video. I'm getting another thing done, checked off my checklist. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. So for me, that's, that's just <clears throat> my future self right now is thanking me for getting up early because my day is good. I'm productive today. I'm getting things done. So having the correct mindset is honestly, it can be even more important than um, having a good sleep schedule. So. That's number nine. And last but definitely not least, some honorable mentions to do with getting up early in the morning that helped me is like have an accountability partner. So like, for instance, maybe like a gym partner that wakes up and you meet each other at the gym at 6 a.m. So like there's a reason for you to get there. Um, you don't wanna make that person wait. Another thing is like, just cut out partying. Like you can party on the weekends maybe. Like I don't get up early on Saturdays, like that's fine. You can have it, you don't have to do this every single day, but like just cut out partying. You'll get up way earlier, it'll be way easier to, to get some good sleep. Another thing is having a cold shower right away. I know some people do this, um, wakes them up a lot easier than uh, getting out of bed and going to the gym or something. Have a cold shower right away, it'll wake you up. I know it's tough to do, but you'll be awake and you'll be ready to go for the rest of the day. Last thing is like keep a vision board or a goal set, uh, like a set of goals written down in your notes or something that you can just look at every single day. If you have goals and stuff that you have that you want to accomplish and you see them every single day, you're going to feel a lot more motivated to get up in the morning and go and achieve those goals throughout your day. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I thought I'd change around the scenery because I thought I was getting a little boring sitting at my desk all the time. If you haven't yet, check out my Instagram. It's right here. Um, behind the scenes stuff. I post photos on there, whatever. I have some updates on my stories about new YouTube videos coming out. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. I love answering them. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button. It just helps with my channel. And uh, yeah, I hope to post new videos like this every week. Some publishing videos, physical health, whatever it may be like I'm posting right now. Once a week is my goal. Maybe twice a week, I don't know. We'll see what kind of time I got. But for now, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you next week. See you later.